Yeah, my we'll cat see. got hit by a car a couple years ago. When she was incontinent for a while. All right, at 6.55, I'll call to order this meeting of the Columbus Common Council Committee of the Whole, Tuesday, March 28th, 2017. This is rescheduled from March 21st, 2017. And whenever you're ready, could you take the roll? Crombie. Here. Hendrickson. Are you here? Roll. I'm, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> I distracted Roll. her. Sorry. Here. Reed. Here. Roll. Here. Tom. Here. Tracks. Here. <laughs> Thank you. All present. Yes. Sorry. This meeting has been noticed appropriately according to state statutes. Uh, next, we need a motion to approve the agenda, unless there's any alterations or deletions. <clears throat> motion to approve the agenda. I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Agenda is approved. On to number four, citizen comments on agenda items. I don't believe we had anyone signed up for this meeting. Okay. Was there anybody present that didn't get a chance to sign up that wanted to speak? All right. Seeing none, we'll go on to number five then, which is consider Rotary Club donation of kayak launch at Rotary Park. There is some information in our packet outlining this project. I know this has been ongoing for a while. The Rotary, Rotary Club's been <clears throat> working towards this effort for some time. Um, seems like a no-brainer to me. It's a, a nice uh, feature to bring to uh, a city park uh, to have a, a way to get kayaks or canoes into the, uh, into the river. The one question I had was just the layout on the page. This is shown as option E. I'm assuming um, this is what the group had decided was the best layout for the park, but it says something about non-ADA compliant perpendicular to shore, and I just don't have any sense on this drawing of how that's laid out, I that's guess. That's why the ramp is there. This ramp here? Yeah. So that part would touch the shore, and it would go out into the Mm -hmm. And then it would go off to the left, and then the launch would be along that side there. Okay. It, then it stays within some of the DNR restrictions for where you have to get a major permit to do stuff. Okay. And I don't know what an easy launch is. <laughs> the money, but we don't have that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The easy launch must be some sort of system it is. with it's wheels a, on it or, it's or rollers. A, it's made out of a floatable. Plastic like material a, that yeah. connects together, oh. so it'll float a little bit, but it's anchored to the shore. And then the easy launch is a series of rollers where you can uh, carry your canoe out onto the pier, put it on the launch, get in, and then just grab a hold of the sides and slide yourself off, and you go into the water. Then when you come back, you just line yourself up with that same thing, push up to the handles, and pull yourself <coughs> up, and then you can get in and out without getting into the water. That's great. And uh, another feature here, as you can see, like you can see the segmented areas to the drawing. It's it's something that kind of like Lego pieces, I guess, mm -hmm. to where if there's interest and, and a desire later to add more space or other features to it, it's it's um, flexible in that way. Yeah. Sure. Any questions on this? I got a quick one, kind of along your lines, Mike. So it says it's non-ADA compliant, but then we've got a label for ADA curbing. So there's other features you can add to it. What would make it ADA compliant? Would it? Railings and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It's not required to put it on, but if you want to, you can add all this other stuff to it. For well, obviously, yeah, not much is free. Um, I'm sure the group probably explored that, but I guess I would be interested in knowing what kind of cost that would be. I mean, it'd be nice for it to be accessible to all folks that could. About 50% more than what we've already. Okay, and what's your number? 20,000. So it'd be up to 30. Mm -hmm. That's an extra change. Mm, got room in my heart. I don't know about change. <laughs> But I, I, I think, to your point, um, 
Reagan, I I think the thinking too is like with the extra segments, that's something that can be it's added changed. and changed Yeah, as we go. Is there anything with the launch system itself, though, that would have to be changed, or is it just mainly railings, like Ann was saying? I, I, I think it seemed like it was fairly interchangeable. Like, I don't think it would be like, yeah, they don't have to scrap the whole thing no. to put to make it yeah, ADA. Yeah. Right, right. And there's little bumpers and railings, and we, we thought it'd be nice to put a bench on the end. Right, for sure. Then we're getting into the area of, you know, where do we stop? But it can right. be added. That's great. And so is it mainly the railings, Ann, that's... Well, the railings are the most expensive, but then there's other things you can do. I'm just specifically focused on what's prohibiting it from being ADA compliant. Is it mainly the, the railings? Cost, the cost. And no, the, the features I'm talking about. The features? Yes, what features are preventing oh, it from being ADA compliant? And bumpers so that wheels can't go off the edge. And, mm -hmm. so and the curb's different than the bumper? I'm sorry? The curb is different than the yeah. bumper? Oh, yeah, well, the curb, the bumper is a little... Like okay, because you got the curb listed. It shows curbing on this mm -hmm. on option E anyway, so it's that's why I was asking the question because it says it's non ADA, but then we have ADA bumper, so I was wondering what's. Well, we got so many different prices, you know, as far as mm -hmm. getting like, well, what if we did this and what if we did that, and then we even have some that have lots more pieces to it. And I was just looking at that picture this morning and I already forgot what it looked like. <laughs> well, we can you can update me later too, or maybe oh, I can yeah. it's a chat really with you. And if you want to see what one looks like, there's one in Water Tower or Water Town? Park over in um, Beaver Dam. Okay. And they're putting another one over at Dirge Park on, on Beaver Dam Lake. Oh, okay. On the west side of the lake. So it's been so popular. Awesome. It's a lot bigger than what we're looking at, but we have a bigger area. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ann. It's pretty exciting, I thought. Any other comments from Council? So we'll need to move this forward to the next regular meeting then mm -hmm. to accept that donation. Thank you so much. Okay, then on to number six is consider general fund un undesignated fund balance policy. This is uh, another uh, policy we worked on at the last uh, finance ad hoc policy committee meeting. I know there were several people that were, were unable to attend at that meeting, so we wanted to put that on the committee of the whole. Uh, for any last discussion that needed to be had on that before taking it forward for approval. <clears throat> any concerns on that? This was one I think that we kind of had started at the meeting before and then kind of finished up at our last meeting. Anyone opposed to bringing that forward to the next regular meeting for a vote? I'm fine with it. All right. Then on to number seven, another policy that came from the same body, um, debt limits and types policy was reviewed in the ad hoc committee meeting, and it's here for final review or any suggestions from anyone that wishes to offer them. Any concerns on this one? Anyone opposed to bringing this forward to the next regular meeting for a vote? All right, seeing none, we'll do that. On to number eight then, which is consider temporary stop signs for road construction, Highway 73 and 89 and Highway 73 and Fuller Street. This is a discussion that we had at our last committee of the whole meeting and essentially we're just gonna continue to keep this kind of tabled on the um, committee of the whole agenda to see how things were gonna progress out there. And we, I think we were looking for uh, further recommendations from um, Davis, uh, Clark from the DPW, Patrick, and also uh, Chief Meister about what they've been seeing around town. Um, my understanding at this time is that there isn't a recommendation to install any stop signs at this we're, time and kind of wait and see how things go. Right, right. It seems like, uh, well, we're closing in on a whole month now into the project, and it, well, definitely we've seen, you know, increased traffic in some of those areas. I don't think and I haven't heard anything from the chief or uh, DPW director Clark that uh, we would need to move to the stop signs at this time so okay is this something that you feel like we uh, just bring back for discussion if, if the terms change or do you want to continue to keep this on every committee of the whole um, agenda I, I 
I guess I thought, you know, this could be just a chance to check in, you know, okay. so maybe if there's no change, we could bring it back maybe once a month. Sure. Um, unless, again, the, the circumstances change and we see the need to move forward with something which could or couldn't include uh, the temporary stop signs. But um, I think just to check in, you know, with the council here on the project, this could serve as a reminder to do that. Sure. Okay. Any questions on this? Pretty clear. All right. If there's more information that we need to know, then uh, by all means, put it on the committee of the whole. I know when we change phases, we may need to re readdress the issue as well at that time, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. which would be a couple months away. So, all right. Then on to number nine, which is uh, to convene to close session per state statutes 19.85 sub 1 sub E, deliberating or negotiating the purchase of public properties, the investment of public funds, or conducting other public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require specifically to consider TIF number four funding request from FROM development project. We need a motion to go into closed session for the reason read. <clears throat> Motion to go into closed session. Second. second. Have a motion and a second to go into closed session. And we need to take the roll. Crombie? Aye. Hendrickson? Aye. Malott? Aye. Reed? Aye. Rule? Aye. Tome? Aye. Traxler? Aye. Manus? Okay, we will be going into closed session reconvening uh, from uh, into open session, and then um, if there's any um, action possible tonight, uh, we will not be returning to the air. Thank you. <laughs>